Hey, hey guys, welcome back to our channel and today's video is going to be about all the things that we brought from England So we're trying to get a bit quick because we got tons of things before we get into it though Don't forget to guys subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet If you're new to our YouTube channel, it's Ricardo and Coral and we make videos together about Italian and English things. Since we've been to England just for Christmas and New Year, we decided to bring back a few things because there are a lot of things that in Italy we don't have and we love from England. Yeah, most of it isn't exactly healthy, most of it is junk food, but, but okay. it's delicious. <laughs> the, the best food is junk food, does it? Anyway, so let's get into it. We have Ricardo's thing that he loves. Spicy chicken slice. Oh well. Well, this is a steak pie. Thailand steak pie. Yeah, the Thai. This is not exactly. This was one of the ones that I wanted to try. It's a spicy chicken slice. I normally get the pulled pork, which is absolutely amazing. But this one I wanted to try it, and I tried the other ones as well. So yeah. it's basically like a pie slicing in a packet, and you just put it in the microwave, or you have it cold. They don't taste even cold, but. Uh, warm, they're way better. Yeah, warm way better. better. I mean, I don't, haven't had them, but they smell good. <laughs> the next thing is because we love our salt and vinegar crisps and flavors and different stuff, we have got a selection of salt and vinegar things. Um, Great selection. As they don't have them here in Italy, and it's so sad. Well, they do, but they're very expensive oh, well, and they yeah. don't even stock it up once they yeah, finish. Yeah, it's, well, it's hard to find also. So, yeah, they do like kettle chips and they're like three euros for like. A bag this size, that's ridiculous. So these are our crunchy salt and vinegar sticks. Plain, um, easy, tasty. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Really cheap, like 55, 89p or something crazy like that. And then we've got these fish and chips. Which are pretty much the best, I would say. Yeah, the ones really that yummy. taste and really good. You imagine like a cracker, like a crackery type thing, but it's salt and vinegar flavour. And, it, and they're in shapes of fish and chips. So fun. Chocolate. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Staying on the same side, we still oh, got another salt one. Salt vinegar Pringles. Salt and vinegar Pringles, which are even better because they absolutely taste really good. Like the flavor is really strong. It As is. you know, on a, on a Pringles, they're quite strong. So. Yeah, normally salt and vinegar flavored things all have a different kind of strength to them. Yeah. These are pretty strong, these ones. That's why we love them. Next up is chocolate. Chocolate chocolate. You can talk about this. So, we got two of these big bars. So this is like one of my favourite ones. So it's Marvelous Creations. And inside this cabbage chocolate bar, oh, you get jelly beans and Smarties and popping candy. So delicious. And then in this one is like crunchy. So it's like a, I, I don't know how to describe crunchy, but it's like crunchy, basically. How do you describe crunchy? I don't know. Um, make noises when you eat them? No, but it's the flavour. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, we've got heroes. We can of bring course, the Of because back. this one wasn't enough, so she decided to get a massive... Actually, we got given us as a present. <laughs> so, inside, all the different types of Cadbury's chocolate that you can get. So there's like Turn cream egg, egg whisper, caramel, eclair, which I don't really like so much. Fudge. Okay. okay. Well, done. <sighs> and here is my wife gone Fat. with sugar. <laughs> no, just crazy. Another thing that we brought back is a custard, as we do not have it here, or we'll probably do, but it's really expensive and I have no idea where to buy it. But this is custard. You can just probably just eat it like that. Would yeah. you do it? Yeah. When I was in Scotland, I used to get it from a jar and just. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what do you put it on? Lighter. Like, Put on that cake. The other thing, oh, sweet side again, jelly tops and skittles. So these are like chewy, sugary coated goodness, little balls, little circle things. And these ones are also like juicy rainbows, skittles. Not really fun of them. Either I love them. them. Next on the line, we've got our squashes. So for whoever doesn't know what squash is, or oh, I mean for Italians because English people and Americans and all the around the world everyone knows what they are. Um, basically one drop of this is good for a glass 
of water. Yeah, but they're really strong. When I was in Scotland, I tried like a bottle. I tried to put like a, a pour like a normal glass yeah. because I thought it was normal juice. And I was like, whoa, what is this? That's disgusting. And my companion told me, you actually need to put one drop into your glass of water. I was like, what? Yeah, well, this is one drop because it's the squeezy one, but that one's like a pour. These, these aren't going to last us for a very long time. Well, yeah, these are super like dilated. Is that? No, not. No, no, super, super concentrated, concentrated opposite. opposite. <laughs> super concentrated, so one drop of this and it's perfect for a glass of water. Exactly. I tried it the other day in my bottle of water and I've put too much in it and I've been awake all night because the sugar was too much. Yeah, and that was with Vinto. Yeah, Vinto is quite really sugary. <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad. It's only... No, there's zero sugar in it. Oh. So it's not so this. It wasn't that. It wasn't Vinto. What kept me Sometimes away? Sometimes it can be sugary, but... No, I did sugar. <laughs> so for breakfasts... 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 Breakfast in England, I like to have porridge. And we get, like, sachets. And it makes it so much easier. So they're, like, Quaker oats. And these are golden syrup flavour. And basically what you do is you pour this into your bowl, the line here, and you pour your milk into the sachet up into that line. And then you pour it into your oats. Put it in the microwave for two minutes. Done. There's your breakfast. Yeah. They smell really good too. So I've got a whole box tasteless. of them, but I've put them in a bag. No, they're not. Oh. These are maple syrup. Oh, okay. Yeah. i got a whole, like, 20 box of them, so... 20 breakfasts? Yeah, that's my lunch show. My breakfast. Lunch. I could have if I wanted to. <laughs> okay, so Coral was complaining with me because I wasn't doing the dishes enough times. So I, d I said, if you want me to do the dishes, we need to buy this. So this, basically, is something you get in England. And I'm not sure if you get that in, in America, but you should probably. Basically, for all the Italians, you just put here your soap. You put it inside and there's a sponge and you don't even have to get your hands dirty because this one does all the job. <laughs> See guys, so easy with the sponge on the top. It's so good. I love it. I got one for my brother as well. Yeah. He wanted one too. <laughs> yeah, because at us as Italians, seeing something like this, that where you don't have to get your hands dirty while you're doing the dishes, is absolutely amazing. So I love getting new bedding, but unfortunately it's really expensive in Italy to get it. So I've, we've only got two sheets ever. And so as, <laughs> as we're in- As you can see. <laughs> yeah, as you probably tell from the videos. So as we're in England, the duvet covers are really cheap. And especially when they're on sale, they're even cheaper. I went and got us a duvet cover. This is from Asda. And it was eight pounds. It will fit us nicely. There was others, but you know they're quite big and they fill your case up quite a bit. So next time, I'll probably get another one. And then also we got a sheet because sheets are also expensive here. <laughs> and this was five pounds, whereas over here they're like ten euros and more, like fifteen. I don't know, crazy. But you know what is really bugging me from here is the fact that we do have the cheap ones, but the quality is terrible. Yeah. The even the patterns on. The duvet is quite bad. Yeah. When in England you can get really good quality, nice patterns for a really cheap price as well. One more thing that we brought from England is the tortillas. Reason why it's because we have it here in Italy as tortillas. well. Tortillas. Yeah, tortillas. Yeah, tortillas. It's Spanish tortillas. And it's tortillas. Okay. <laughs> so tortillas. We've got tortillas because we have them here. Stash. Shut up. We've got them here as well, but the difference is that in the package you find three tortillas and they're thick. Mm -hmm. Here you get one, two, eight. three, four. It's okay. Really... Oh, easy. <laughs> you find eight tortillas and they're thin. They don't break when you're trying to roll yeah. them up like the thick ones because every time it's like <laughs> broken. <laughs> These are good and we found them in Tesco. Good job, Tesco. Yes, always. So these are all the things that we have brought back from England and we love bringing things back from England all the time. We actually brought an empty case to England so that we could bring like a load of stuff back. Um, and that's all we did. And uh, we actually kind of wanted more space. But you know, next time we'll bring we'll three bring back more. luggages, <laughs> yeah. empty luggage. Exactly, because we just love stuff from England. Make sure you go and check out all of our other videos and we'll see you in our next video. Yes guys, bye. Bye. <laughs>